Good morning, friends. Welcome to Omni's Lifestyle. Today is Monday morning about 7 o'clock and I'm out for a walk. So I thought I'll take you guys along with me. And uh, it's a gorgeous day today. Nice blue sky with the mountain in the back. So, and it's really nice fall weather right now. It's just a little bit cold, uh, but it's perfect. And... Uh, on my way, I always see this farm and they have really nice big pumpkins, moms. They do sell the apples as well as the apple cider. So I was thinking maybe later on today I'll stop by here and uh, see if I can get some flowers because, you know, fall is my most favorite season out of all of them because the weather is always perfect. You see colors like a orange and the yellow everywhere the tree started turning yellow and brown so it's gorgeous everywhere and look at those big pumpkin back there they are so huge you know there is a white one there there is orange and now i'm back into the house waiting for kids to wake up just trying to clean up a little bit here and there um, because we had the company yesterday and i ordered the pizza for kids so I'm just trying to clean everything here. And by the way, this broom, I it's from Bissell and I got it from Amazon from last uh, four years I've been using it. And if you have a wood floor, I would highly recommend it. It doesn't scratch the floor and it picks up everything. And I use it sometime on my rugs also. So it's really nice. And Every weekend or the Monday usually I try to pamper myself usually once a week you know I take care of the skin and the hair and everything and here I'm making a mask that is from um, it's an Indian clay I got it also from Amazon and I'm just using the apple cider vinegar for this and you just need about a tablespoon or two tablespoon of clay for your face and just mix it with the apple cider and it's ready to go so anytime your skin it's all clogged up or um, it's dull looking it then you definitely want to use this mask it's really nice and here i'm taking simple just regular mayo for my hair and on this part i have a water heating up just the plain water so i'm gonna take the steam before applying my mask so all my pores is nice and open so and you don't need a fancy machine or anything for that you know you can just uh, use the pot with the water and here i'm applying all the mask on my face and you know mayo is really good if you don't like the smell of eggs then you can just make use the mayo for hair and it makes your hair so nice and silky smooth so definitely once a week i like to use some kind of stuff for my hair so today i'm just using mayo for that so everything is nice and cover and i'm just gonna also cover it with the plastic bag so i don't it doesn't drip everywhere and i'm just gonna chill before kids wake up let all these things to sink into my skin and the hair and i'll go and, and take for a shower. the breakfast i'm making kadai dogla for that we need one cup of soji half a cup of mixed vegetable and you can use any vegetables or anything that you like and i also add about four small green chilies in there so again, it's depend on you how spicy you like it. So here I add four small green chilies into this. And then you want to add salt to taste. And the next clip actually somehow I missed it. But here is you can see I have a yogurt and that's about the half a cup of the yogurt. So once I mix all this, I'm going to add the yogurt as well as the water into it. So make sure it's nice and um, the consistency is proper. On this other pan, I have about two tablespoons of oil. To that, I'm going to add about four uh, small red chilies, some curry leaves, cumin seeds, as well as, um, you know, a little bit of rye. 
the mustard seeds and make sure it's nicely coated everywhere because when we pour the batter into this we don't want that batter to stick to the pan so make sure it's nicely coated and very end you want to add about a tablespoon of eno again make sure you add this at the very last stage when you are ready to pour the batter into the pan and mix it really really well and then we just gonna pour this batter into the pan and let it cook on the medium flame for about 15 minutes and then we also gonna cover it so it cook nicely on the bottom as well as the top And about after 15 minutes you want to flip this and again you want to be very careful when you are doing this step because the plate is hot and as you can see after 15 minutes it's well cooked on the other side and now gently I'm gonna put this back into the pan so it can cook the other side and now we don't need to cover it um, it can cook uh, for another 10 minutes again on the medium low flame and um, once it's done it's gonna look so nice so yummy so tasty so i would highly highly recommend friends tr do try this recipe it doesn't take more time to make this and it's so and before we head out it started raining so we thought we'll just have a lunch and then we'll go out um because by the way it's a long weekend um and that's why kids are at home but um, this morning, you know, the weather was nice and clear and now all of a sudden it started raining. And seemed like this bird is also enjoying because he's been sitting there from last 10 minutes and looks like he's just eating the seeds from there. And I like this kind of weather. You know, some people don't like the rain, rainy and the, the cloudy weather, but I just love it. I... the... The noise of the water, the smell of the rain, I just, I'm not complaining as long as there is no snow out there. So I like this kind of weather, you know, it's cloudy and it's nice. So in this weather, I thought it could be perfect if I can just go ahead and make the kadi pakoda as well as rice. So here I have about a cup of basin, chickpeas flour. To that, I'm adding salt to taste, and I already add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, as well as a half a teaspoon red chili powder, and about a half a teaspoon of green chilies. Again, green chilies, it's up to you. If you don't like spicy, you don't need to add that to it. But I like the chili flavor into the pakoda, so that's why I'm adding there. And also I like the onion in my pakoda, so I have about half a cup of onion there. And to that I'm going to add about a tablespoon of oil. And you just want to mix everything, make sure it's well combined, um, well coated with the oil. And to that I'm going to add about a cup of water, make sure it's nice, better consistency. And you want to let this rest for about 10 minutes. And today actually I'm making the healthy version of it. So I'm, ma I'm trying um, to make the pakoda into the panyadam pan. And I believe that's what it's called. Um, but I bought this pan from India. So it's basically healthy version. You know, you are not deep frying here. And you will not believe, friends, they came out so good. If you are eating this and then you cannot even tell that I didn't deep fry it. So definitely I'm just going to make the pakoda next time into this pan. And every time for some kind of occasion or some, somebody's coming or something, you know, I always make the rice uh, with a little bit of lemon or lime juice as well as clarified butter ghee. The reason you want to do that is because when you add the ghee, first of all, it gives the nice aroma to it. Plus, it makes your grain separated, so it's not sticky. And when you add the lime juice into it, it just, your grain is nice and white. 
and here I'm making pakoda into the pan. Make sure your pan is nicely greased uh, before you do that. And you just want to cook this for five minutes. It doesn't take long to cook this. And then after five minutes, I flip them, put a little bit of more oil to it so it cooks on the other side too. And they came out so good. And here I'm just preparing for my kadi. For that, I have about half a cup of basin. To that, I'm going to add about a cup of yogurt. And you want to mix this really, really well. Make sure there is no lumps at all. Because it doesn't look nice when you have lumps into the curry. Um, it doesn't look nice as well as it doesn't taste good either. Um, so you want to make sure it's nicely well combined. And I'm just going to add water into this. And after water, again, I'm going to use the blender to make sure no lumps at all. Lumps. And I always put some kind of napkins or something underneath. So as you see here, I made a mess, but it's okay because my counters still stay clean. So to this mixture, now I'm going to add salt to taste. And again, I had to use my hands for it. Next, I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of turmeric powder, half a tablespoon of red chili powder. Mix everything and just a pinch of citric acid. Again, now if your yogurt is sour, you don't need to use this but just give that little bit of tartness to the curry i use that and again i'm gonna use my blender to make sure there is no lumps because when you add the dry spices into it sometimes you know it doesn't mix well so again i'm using the blender to the mixture And I'm going to give the tempering to this curry mixture. So for that, I have about two tablespoons of clarified butter. That is the ghee. And yes, you want to make sure you are using the ghee because the ghee is the one that is going to give nice aroma to your curry. To that, I'm adding about a tablespoon of cumin seeds, few of the curry leaves, and about the two red chilies. To that, about I'm adding half a teaspoon of asafoetida hing and now I'm gonna add the mixture to that tempering and now we're gonna let this cook for at least 15 minutes but in between every few minutes you want to come and make sure you are keep stirring this mixture otherwise it's gonna stick to the bottom which we don't want that And you want to make sure it's on nice, medium, low flame. And after 20 minutes, I'm going to add all my pakoda into this. And I'm going to give one more tempering to this. Yes, friends, that last tempering, it's going to tie everything together. And for that, again, I'm using about a half a tablespoon of ghee just a little bit of cumin seeds and about a one red chilies this tempering somehow when you do it at the last it ties everything together it smells nice looks nice also so do not miss this step and please do this it's gonna be so tasty so yummy i promise you guys do try this recipe and thank me later it's really nice i'm telling you this it's awesome Especially in this kind of rainy season, you know, it's somehow the, the curry and the rice, it's so comfort food, basically. It's, I, I like it. So that's it. Now we're going to leave this for another five minutes. 
and uh, in that five minutes pakoda is gonna soak that curry and this is how it's gonna look like isn't that tempting friends it's so nice i'm telling you i'm not trying to take the credit here but please do try this recipe and now i'm gonna make the tempering for my rice for that again i'm using tablespoon um uh, sorry two tablespoon of ghee few and here you want to go heavy hand for the jeera the cumin seeds because that's what it's gonna be the jeera rice so you want more jeera into it and let that cook for a few minutes it's something about the the And I'm just adding the onions to it because again, onion give really nice taste to the jeera rice. And here I'm gonna cook the onions until they are like a little bit of brown. You don't want to burn to it, but just just make sure they are like nice and translucent and uh, well cooked. So we're gonna wait about five minutes here and make sure they are nice and clear looking and definitely you can also serve just a regular rice with this you know you don't need to make the jeera rice but again this jeera rice you can make it with the dal fry or the any kind of dal you know it's 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 so nice and to that, I'm adding coriander. It's going to give nice color to our rice. Cilantro, as some of you know that, it's cilantro. I'm just going to mix everything. And now I'm going to add all this mixture to the rice. And that's it you know you just want to mix everything and um, it's again like I say is such a nice comforting food and um, you can serve with the popper achar yogurt also slice up some onions and it's a perfect meal So that's how the jeera likes looks like. Isn't that tempting, friends? It's so yummy. See, do you see how the grain is? It's nice and separated as well as it's so white looking. And uh, there is my curry. And after lunch, we head out and uh, I want to go to Home Goods because I haven't been there for a long time. So I thought I will stop by and see what they have. So this is what they had it out there. It's a tractor. It's such a huge tractor. You know, it's good for the kids. And when I went in there, I really like this thing. You know, look at the color. I just, I don't know, somehow I like this nice vibrant orange color. And I was thinking about getting this, but then the, you know, I have everything silver in my house and there was a, the gold was there, so I decided not to get it. But then they had such a nice varieties of crockeries and all the fall colors were out there and I really like it. I don't know, sometime, you know, every few weeks I just kind of go to Home Goods and see what they have because every time you go there, you see something new there. And uh, look at this squirrel, you know, this one was actually the salt and pepper. Um, so. I really like that one.
found at the home goods it's a white ceramic elephant and they also had the one in the blue so i couldn't decide whether i want to keep the white or the blue so i bought both of them and uh, i put the white one next to my front door uh, with the flower pot on top of that as you can see i do have the blue accent so i thought i will keep the blue one also so friends thank you so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you in my next vlog bye